Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This, Press That. I'm your host, Matt, joined by... Dan. Dan, it's always good to see you. It's been a little bit of, a little bit of time in between. Bit. Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. We enjoyed our nice yeah. vacation. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's get right into it. So uh, today we're looking at two plugins uh, for live blogging. Yeah. Uh, one made by Automatic, another one made by another fine developer, uh, Chris... Chris Northwood. Northwood, yeah. Yeah. So live blog is automatic. Live blogging is Chris Northwood. Mm -hmm. The Chris Northwood one's been around for a while. Tons of downloads, 4.6 rating. Mm -hmm. So good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, automatic just entered this battlefield this week. Yep. Why um, do you think they entered it hmm. this week? Could it be the rumored or the now scheduled Apple announcement on September the 12th? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can take a look at our the plugins here and make a decision if you want to use your website for live blogging for that event. So the first thing we're going to look at is Live Blog, which is the automatic plugin. It's the new one. And the way it works is, right from a post, you check the Live Blog box on the post. Mm -hmm. So it's just right at the bottom below that where you enter your content. Yep. And it basically just denotes that that post is going to be a Live Blog. So very, very easy way to do things. Why this is beneficial um, to the user, to you guys at home, is that it's a very, very easy way to do a Live Blog. It's done all from the front end. So all you do is create that post in WordPress like you'd create any other post. And as long as you're logged in, you go to the page and you just, there's a bar, a box, we'll have it displayed, I'm sure, for yep. you to see here. Yep. Um, and you basically just type in your, your comment or you uh, drag and drop a picture right on there yeah. and it puts it in there, yeah. right right there, just do, like that. How do you like that? I, 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 <clears throat> I'm a little, uh, little bit of a toss up between that because then you don't have all the features of WordPress uh, the editor and you know uploading multiple images maybe that kind of thing it has the drag and drop which is cool yeah super easy super easy to use um, we, we like that but um, I don't know it, it's it's I like it simply because have you ever followed live blogs as they're happening for like yes. an Apple announcement or anything yeah. or anything like that yep. on whatever website maybe and gadget or whatever it is yep. right yep I never notice anything more than a page with a little text blip like mm -hmm. a Twitter post mm -hmm. and, and or a picture. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's sort of the, the essence of a live blog. Yep. And I think that they nailed the essence. Yeah, no, that's, you're, um, you're right. You're right. That's a good way of putting it. It's, it. It is when we're watching these like Apple events or these, un, you know, these the unveiling, yeah, uh, unveiling of new product. Yeah. Uh, you know, we are just looking for that quick snippet. And yeah. we are, I guess we are most interested in seeing the photos. Or uh, just hearing yeah hey there's an iphone coming out right or whatever right, it may right, be, right right they just showed the new app or something yeah like that. yeah yeah cool very cool sure and that's live blog in a nutshell awesome yeah so it's uh very clean very simple and easy to use awesome good job automatic uh so the next one we look at is live blogging by chris northwood this one i believe is in more of the traditional sense of you're making these live blog posts using wordpress yeah taking full advantage one of the things when, when yeah when we were when we were looking at the plugin and, and demoing it was it almost turns into a post within a post. Yeah. Uh, so you create one, you create your first live blog post, and then you post using that post. Right. Um, yeah. Down in the, down the right-hand corner, yeah. you just say, which live blog post do you want to use? Yeah. And uh, you just assign that post to that yeah. live blog. Yeah. Slightly confusing when we're trying to explain it, but if you get into playing with it or see some of the examples that we show, uh, you'll see what we're talking about. I guess another thing that popped into my head with that is if you're running an event that has multiple live blogs right. and you had multiple authors mm -hmm. writing to those live at blogs at the same time, at the same time right. that'd be awesome, that, like a convention or something right, like that. Right. Then it kind of makes sense when, when they do it that way. Yeah. Whereas the automatic one is so simple that you have just a text editor yeah. and you can only drag your photos in. Right. But that's just like the essence, as you put okay. it, which is great. Uh, so I, I liked it. I mean, you can you can integrate Twitter. You can tweet when you update. Um, all those cool things, yeah. uh, which we like. Uh, much more robust than the automatic one. Yeah. Um, I think if you again, if it, I think it comes down to if you're looking for simplicity. Yeah. Go with the automatic one. Yeah. If you want something like for the convention, or you have multiple authors writing for it, uh, look at the live blogging one by Chris Northwood. Um, that one got. 21,000 downloads. Yeah, a couple. Yeah, a couple. Here or there. Yeah. Here or there. 4.6 out of 5 star rating. So, you know, on the, as far as the, the WordPress uh, repo is, it's, you know, it's doing well. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm sure he's supporting it well, which is good. 
Awesome. So there's another, another, there's another episode one in the, book. In the can. Yeah. Awesome. Great. So, look, thanks for joining in. Thanks for watching another Press This, Press That. We want you to know if you want to connect with us um, through our newsletter, go to slocumstudio.com slash subscribe. Yeah. Uh, and I'll have more information about what our email newsletter is, when our next episodes are coming out. We're also thinking about doing an SEO one. Yeah. That one should be fun. Mm. Dan knows a thing or two about SEO. So if you're a WordPress developer, designer, or somebody who just puts WordPress sites together, uh, that's another good show that you might want to tune into. So we'll keep you posted. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks.